Jamie, what, what, I'm getting questions from the uh, from the chat about like not only you entering Shield, but like the process of you becoming a part of Thor in the beginning. Would you do you mind talking about that? Sure. Uh, it was actually quite comical. Um, the way I got the part was, I think I was one of the last people to audition. And at the time I had been on a series called Kyle XY, but it was, uh, I would say a very low paying job for all of us. And when it got canceled, the writer's strike happened. So nobody had any, any jobs. And wow. instead of blowing through all my savings, I decided to get a bartending job again. Um, which was so bizarre because at the time I was bartending, my show was actually on the TV. So people were like, isn't that you? And I was like, well, yeah. <laughs> you know, but, um, so it was, you know, a very humbling time in my life, which, uh, I seem to thrive off of that kind of thing, you know, just being resourceful and just, you know, um, and so anyways, during that, I worked at this bar called, um, Happy Endings. It was a sports bar. Oh my, God. Oh my gosh. We loved Happy really Endings. <laughs> yeah, it's Sunset La Brea. Probably yes. that's going to so, be a soundbite for sure. But yes, yeah. we have had so many nights in there. Yeah. That's it, so fun, that it place. It was crazy. Yeah. So, that's like, a crazy place. There. Yeah. It's a, it was a fun, crazy that's place. That's a crazy like, place to work. Yeah. I mean, that's was, like. Yeah. But there was only, that was it. There was no job. So, like, yeah. You know, God, I had for you, Jamie. That's a people's favorite. Thanks. And so they had, like, you know, any award winning writers going to get bartending jobs. You guys remember, it was a really tough. Yeah. 2009. Yeah. I was there. Yeah. I, was the, I read for the part. And when I went in, um, you know, casting in general, the, they were like, you know, you really favor the comic book drawing. And I was like, well, not all the dimensions, but some of them. And, uh, <laughs> and so I had a great time and they sent it off to Ken Branagh. And at that time I was literally, I went to work, had to vomit. Cause it was like, I had to vomit, had to clean up vomit in the girl's bathroom because oh I was a new God. employee and it was a beer pong place and it was a mess. So yeah. I was, I was really sad. So I thought, you know what, screw this industry, I'm, I should just leave. A couple of days later, I get a call that Ken Brandon wants to Skype and he really wants to, you know, explore this. And I thought, whoa, really? And so anyway, long story short, I go to meet the guys at Marvel, which um, were Craig Kyle and Kevin Feige. And when I got there, I, because I worked at this bar and I had to park on something that was nicknamed Rape Alley, which is awful. I'm sorry, but that's what Oh they, my God. <laughs> um, they, I would carry a giant knife. And I have, I collect knives, not, I'm not a freak, I promise. Um, but I, I'd always have one, like I just, you know, with them, I, whatever. So I had one. And so anyway, in my bag, I, when I set it on the chair to meet the guys, my bag fell off the chair and like out rolled tampons, a giant knife and like all this other stuff. And then they were like, oh my God. And I was like, oh no, I was so <laughs> mortified. And I was like, more about the tampons than the knife. I think they were more scared about the knife, but I was just like, oh God. And so I like, and it was a big purse. I had a lot of stuff because I had to go to work that night. I had to go to the bar. Yeah. So I was like, I had all my food, my almonds and whatever else. It was so embarrassing, but they laughed. And then they asked me about my childhood. And I said, I have four brothers. And they're like, hmm, because that's like the Warriors 3 and Thor. And like, it was just like funny. So like everything sort of lined up and they played a joke on me. They said that was on a Friday. And they said, by Monday, we need you to come in and do a British accent. And uh, you're going to meet some more people. And I thought, oh, God, like I've never done that before. And I didn't know how to get a coach or anything. So I uh, showed up Monday. It was actually all a ruse. They had like this conference room of people that like clapped because I do think I was probably the underdog choice for the role. And it was really sweet. And they just said, go to your fitting down the street. <gasps> oh my like, God. Do the accent or anything. Wow. But eventually, yes, I did. But yeah, it was very sweet. It was wow. a really cool That's one. a fantastic story. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's, that's a amazing. great story. I'm not good at condensing stories. I like tell all the details you don't really need, but. That's oh my gosh, we need all the details. And by the way, ladies, but the details are up. like the best part. Yeah. 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 And, it, and, just, it, and it had a happy ending. It so does. I'm just gonna. There she is. Uh -huh.